Okay, so what we're working on today, working on a carrier two stage. Uh, this one is from 2015. Twenty two fifteen, twenty second week of 2015 and I was out here yesterday and the main complaint was no air conditioning so turn the air conditioning on the air conditioning runs outside shuts off on low pressure lines freezing so check my filter it's not terrible But when I got down here, oh boy, yeah, that was jammed in there. When I got down here, fan wasn't running. So, you got 120 volts to the fan right here and a neutral. And then you got your signal wires. And this is ECM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this to see if it's a board or to see if it's the motor. So let me get set up. Right now I have a calling for cooling. I think. Let me put you down for a second. Hold on. So I got it calling for cooling. The condenser is on. But let's see. Between common. Trying to do this one handed is a piece of. Oh, it's horrible. Twenty-seven volts on G. No motor. So let me get set up again. Hold on. So now, those are my two leads to the motor. Now this is twenty-four volt DC. DC to the motor. So, let me reverse the leads. Hold on. So, there we go. So, those are 24 volt DC off the board. Now, it's TP6 two stage. Right now, 14 volts DC off the board. So, now if I come over here, I mean, that's it, should be moving, moving some air. I can come over to my AC switches. All right there and if you look I'll flip one of the switches and it changes my DC voltage so I know the board is working okay I'm just flipping my switches let me, let me flip them all down see what it does probably yeah, there we go so I know I'm getting DC voltage from the board so that motor shot so I got the new motor on the truck we're going to get that replaced. Well, we got the motor out and back in. And as you can see, we started it up. Still running my DC voltage. And that's where I got my original plug. And that's how you diagnose that motor. If you don't have the DC voltage there, you know it's the board. If you got the DC voltage there, you know it's the motor. Plus, you got to have high voltage, you know, 120 volts there. But probably what happened was they had a power outage and took out the motor. So, I've got a draining filter in there. We're going to button this one up and on to the next one. You got a humidifier to put back together back there, though fell off when I was trying to get the filter out. We had to trash the filter to get it out. So that's how you diagnose that motor. Not a big deal. But you gotta know it's DC voltage. I can't get my leads out of there. I'm probably gonna disconnect the motor. There we go. Alright guys. That's it for this one. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next one.